Hey, how's it going? Well, today I'm uh, going to be working on the van. The other day I noticed some brake fluid leaking out. There's a couple spots on the ground. And it's uh, it's coming from the master cylinder. So, uh, actually it's coming from under the cap on the master cylinder. So I'll just show you here. It's not really leaking. It's uh, I think what's happening is there's a... There's an internal leak in the uh, master cylinder because uh, I'm going to pop this open. So, pop it open. What's happening is the uh, the front reservoir, this one, is emptying into the rear chamber and it's leaking out. So I'm assuming there's an internal leak in there. And I have noticed the brake pedal sitting at a stop sign, it would go down a bit. So something's going on inside there. The other day I opened it and it was the front one was almost empty and the back one was leaking out. So pretty sure that's the problem. So I went and ordered a new master cylinder. And, uh, show it to you here. Now it's not the exact same, doesn't have the same cover on it, but it looks like it should fit. And this was uh, 90 bucks. So I'll, uh, Get busy and uh, pull out the old one and we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm underneath the van here. I'm trying to get the camera angle, trying to show you what I'm doing. So here's the master cylinder. I'm gonna take these two lines off. Then there's two bolts that hold it on. It's one there and one on the other side. So I'm gonna work on these lines. I got them loose already. I'll just uh, turn the camera off and I'll take these lines off and I'll come back when I have them done. Alright, so I got uh, both the lines loose. No problem getting apart. They were no, just no corrosion or anything on this. So I'll just pull them out. Okay, I'll wait till I loosen the master cylinder. Okay, so now I'm going to loosen these two bolts here. And the master cylinder should come down. I see this line is right underneath the master cylinder. So I'll have to see how that goes. Okay, so I'll come back when I get those bolts undone. Okay, so I got the two bolts, the mounting bolts undone. Now it's just a matter of trying to wiggle this out of here. It's going to be as easy as I thought. There's a bracket here of some sort. It's kind of hard to film, so let me work on this. See if I can slide it out. Alright, so I had to loosen the proportioning valve. Make some slack in these lines so I can see if I can get this out. It's really hard to video this, but let's just see what we can do. All right, this looks promising. All right, well, we got it out. All right, so I just uh, picked up a new master cylinder, comparing it to the old one, just to make sure it's the same. And it looks pretty good. <clears throat> I did have a different uh, master cylinder. It had a, a flat cap with a bolt that holds it in. I didn't really like that, so I took it back and got this one. This will fit through the floor a lot easier. The other cap, the square one, was a little bit hard to get out, so I'll use this one instead. Right now, I'm gonna 
bolts in there. Proportion valve loose, so I can get those uh, two lines in there. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how I did this last brake. It's the driver's front. The other three are done. I'm just going to push on the brake pedal. That should do it. Just gonna fill up the reservoir. put the cap on and I'll clip it on later All right, let's see how the brake pedal feels It's kind of hard to tell. I guess I'll have to take it for a ride. Feels okay. <laughs> 